my favorite steel toe boots I'm trying to tell you fellas these steel toe boots right here yes sir we get the job done got my two shovels two uh helmets and uh led light trash can bucket what's going on everyone welcome back to a another video this is priority hauling junk removal in today's video we have a customer okay so this customer she's got a mother that lives here in baltimore and basically she's flying down from florida so that way she can participate and well you know she's basically running this project but basically they're cleaning out her mom's basement so that way they can get some plumbing work done she wants to get this job done within one day so that way she can also fly back home and also because the plumbers you know, they're they're ready to get the job done so it's the perfect time to get the plumbing work done during the summer because trust me waiting until the winter time those plumbing prices they're going to go up i'm trying to tell you the other thing to throw in there which I really find super duper cool with this particular uh, jungle room job is that the actual customer has hired kids around the neighborhood. You know, kids that the family have known and worked with throughout the school systems. Basically, they're coming together to also help her mother. I don't know how much filming I can do because we got such a big crew that's waiting for us. I made a promise to the customer that We'll get this job done within, you know, four hours. So that way she can make it back to her flight back home. I'm going to bring my nephew uh, with me for this particular job. Myself and my nephew uh, will be outside handling the stuff, you know, from, you know, if, if we got like assembly line handling stuff so that way we can actually load it on the trailer because, you know, any item that goes on your trailer, you want to load it. You don't want the customer to load it because... Let's just say the customer doesn't load it appropriately and that item goes to somebody's window. That is going to be a problem. Whew. But anyway, guys, let's roll this footage. Got a big job. This is a uh, complete basement cleanup job. Absolutely, the whole basement clean it up for senior later. All right, guys. Quick update: we got the first load. We're strolling down. This is beautiful part of my city, as you can see. A city that reads. This is beautiful. All right, guys, got to get back to the back to the grind. Chit chat with you guys later. Peace. Yes, sir. You know where to find me at. Out here, working, baby. All right. So I'm gonna back it up some, so that way I can get this stuff out. So just back up. Just let me know. Let me know when it when it comes out. So stand right here. So that way you're uh, you're out the way of the uh, the uh, trucks and stuff. This lady had classics. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, guys, so check it. This particular load, man, I tell you, if junk removal had a barn find or Easter egg, this would be it. You know, whew, we found a console, a gaming console, <laughs> a gaming console in a box, a Sega 
Genesis gaming console in a box. Man, I, I'm speechless. I'm speechless on that one. That's, that, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Ooh, and it was not just that. I also had seen, it was so many action figures from like year 2000, gaming console. There was a whole bunch of games and magazines. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Bro, what the? You there's, see this? There's a, um, there, that, that pack of them. Wait, on, on, the, on the back? Yeah. Is it up, up some? Uh, let me just get this stuff down. After I get my dump trailer down. All right, she's down. All right. It's in the box. Yes, sir. It's in the box. Talk about a good, a good junk removal job. eBay, I, I holla at you later. What I also found was cool, historic. I guess you could say it was a luggage, trunk, chest. Oh, what is the name? Breakless trunks. Yeah, that, that, that's the name. Breakless trunks. Historic trunk. I'm telling you, it kind of reminds me of, you know, for some reason, Westerns, but not really Westerns. I want to think like, it's, it's at the top of my head, but I can't even think of it. But this was cool. But unfortunately, um, it rained really, really bad. And uh, that trunk was destroyed. It was destroyed by the rain. And I was just like, oh, why didn't I put that somewhere safe? I wanted to take that trunk, you know, somewhere where somebody be able to classify, like, where it originated from or if it's valuable. But uh, Mother Nature got the best of it. We dropped off the, the first load and we picked up the second load. They had everything outside, so I didn't really record anything. Um, but you guys can see Baltimore City. That's what you guys can take a peek of, Baltimore City. Get ready to drop off this trailer and just uh, enjoy the rest of the day. It's a good thing that we uh, started off at one and now we get to uh, enjoy the rest of uh, this beautiful sunny day. I'm at the point where I am just highly interested in building up, you know, some sort of custom wall. Uh, I'm thinking towards this level or just slightly a bit above. Okay. So I'm about to get ready to head down the road and uh, drop this bad boy off. Just making sure that everything is, you know, nice and tight, which it is. All the stuff is nice, nice and tight. So we're good to go. All right, guys, I am on my way to get this stuff off my trailer. And I also plan on uh, stopping by uh, the trailer dealership just to see uh, how much trailer bricks are all right it's time to get up this bumpy hill we got a big truck ahead of us that's coming down the hill too i'm gonna throw this into a tow haul all right there we go and now we can keep the rpms up and keep rolling now just for anyone's information this tundra it pulls this dump trailer up a hill easy okay easy but i always throw it in a tow haul just due to the fact that i'm going to 
going up a steep hill, you know. I want to keep that momentum going. And also because of the fact that I'm very light on a gas pedal. I'm very light on a gas pedal. Ah, uh, this always happens. I always get my gloves stuck. So it's very important that when you do go to the landfill, make sure that you're wearing steel toe boots. Protect your feet at all the times. All right, gates open. Let's go ahead and uh, let her up. Start to let some of this stuff down. All right, so now we just need a shake, rattle, and roll to get the rest of the stuff out of there. Yep. That's it. Just got to shake, rattle, and roll, then everything else will come down. All right. Let's make sure that we don't have anything. Uh, I do. This piece of wood right there is is in my way. Let me uh let me get that piece of wood from up underneath. Then that I think I should be good to go. Let's bring it back down. lock her up and just got to get rid of this tire after I do this just got it She's locked up, put this back. Yeah, good to go. Now she's clear. It's a beautiful thing about a dump trailer. I just need to get a uh, thing for the top. That should basically uh, address any issues going forward. All right guys, let's roll. The landfill is actually a, a, a beautiful, beautiful, smelly place. I'm trying to tell you, it's a beautiful, smelly place. The smell, well, you, you, you'll get used to it as, you know, you're just around that element. Your nose senses will, you know, it will desensitize the smell. 
okay so like right now i but then again right now my uh i can i can barely smell anything <laughs> i'm a little bit underneath the weather right now so that's probably why i can't smell anything <laughs> But all right, guys, let's roll. I don't know what these guys are doing, but you're supposed to be in a, in a line, okay? You're not supposed to be uh, trying to race each, each other, you know what I mean? Because it definitely seemed like that's what they were doing. Yeah, it is. Look, that Ford, yep, the Ford just overtook. I don't know if you guys see it, but the Ford overtook the Dodge. It's ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, he hauling up there. He is hauling up there. Golly. He must be, he must be, uh, he must be going after somebody. Yeah, probably going after that Ford to tell him like, nope, do not accept. See, that's what I need. Yeah, that's exactly what I need. And, and, and they got the, uh, they still got the net inside too. That's exactly what I need to start building. So that's my next project for this dump trailer is to build up some side walls. So. All right, let's go see how much the damage is. I definitely appreciate everyone for watching this quick video. It was a quick video. I try to do my best to record while on site but again uh i made a promise to the customer that i'll have this job done within four hours uh we started early, early, early. nine in the morning i wanted to start a bit earlier but you know everybody had to get together and you know the flight and stuff of that nature the atmosphere was like family and everybody was just pitching in so we were getting dirty we were getting dirty we were up underneath tight crawl spaces i had my hard hat on while it was underneath there. But they kind of explained the basement area. They call it like the cellar. That was kind of like the safe bunker area when the war was going on. That's the place where they would bunker down uh, for safety. Historic house. Historic Baltimore City house. I mean, that house has some history. It kind of seems like that the mother, she's owned it for some time. And I think her mom also owned it too. So it was it was definitely a house that they're 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 holding on i do apologize to those who may have wanted to see more content of you know removing junk from inside to outside i do apologize i'm, I'm gonna work on that but you know i put my customers first you know i, put, I always i always put my customers first so you know i respect I respect my viewers and i also respect my customers so it's all love so I'm gonna wrap this video up, guys. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. And also, if you are looking for a junk removal service company, such as myself, please contact Priority Holland for your junk removal service needs and we'll get with you to discuss the items that you need to have removed from your property. And we'll also discuss the pricing, schedule a date, and uh, provide you our best customer service. On that note, guys, chit-chat with you guys later. Peace.